Once again welcome back to Earth Actually, we are always digging deep to bring the truth to light. The damn truth is hard to find, and it also hurts to hear or admit most times, but today, Earth Actually has debunked the hard truth. I said we debunked it, the hardest and most coded truth about our origin and creation. Whatever religions, governments, or any institution had been teaching our generation, are nothing more than just hair-brained education to fool and make us feel inferior. My dearest beloved brothers and sisters, are we really nothing better than characters in some kind of sci-fi movies? If you are white, black, brown, pink or even orange color, no matter where you come from, your race or skin color is nothing but a tag or just call it a label and they all have it related conspiracy and dark secret which can only be decoded using numbers. We really actually debunked it so hard, hey don't subscribe until the end of this video to prove us right or wrong. We are going to learn about the tree of life, our origin and the origin of the gods that created us, and also about the gods that controls and governs the outer or underworld. Have you ever heard about the Asiatics or any of their related culture? Well, upon the nature and significance of the culture of the Asiatics, the book Culture is I God, has for its primary object the construction of a map of the history of the world from an Asiatic black man's perspective. One of the greatest experiences by the student which increases rather than diminishes with his advance in knowledge is this, he or she finds it possible to gain a clear idea of the meanings of the terms when they use supreme mathematics or supreme alphabets which he employs. Every philosopher has his own understanding for terms such as soul, and in all cases he does not so much suspect that other writers use the term under a different connotation. Most writers are too often at variance with each other when it comes to these terms. The diversity is very great in the case of this word soul, I chose to use the ideas of Noble Drew Ali, NDA, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, THEM, with the background science of WD Fard and Father Allah, Allah the Father, so the reader will understand what I mean when I say soul, mind, and body, also see the Kabbalion. For instance, having discovered that 120 lessons can be divided by 5, 5% NGE, we must henceforth think of 5 as the root of those ideas which we find in 120 degrees, as well as using our previous ideas of 5, arm leg, leg arm head, or 72 degrees, we must henceforth think of 5 as the root of those ideas which we find in 120, as well as using our previous ideas of 5 as the key to our investigation of 120. The secrets of adepts are not easily revealed to men, it is much easier to teach children. That which can be taught shall be taught, and that which cannot be taught may at least be learnt. Let us look at 777, useful in many ways, as affirming that the unity is the Clefoth, but dangerous too, especially as it represents the flaming sword that General Monk Monk used to drive mankind out of Eden. Also 777 is the grand scale of seven, mind, attic or spirit, soul, body or Asia, see the green books, and note that 7 is the meeting place of 3, the child, and 10, the man's cipher, hence 7 is man or God the father with a wife, the woman is 6 with a husband and 2 could be a woman without a man or husband also called a widow. Hence 5, is the pentagram, symbol of the squaring of the circle by virtue of Allah, 3.1415, the symbol of man's will, also Yeheshua, the savior. Hence the beginning of the great works, in the dealings of the Supreme Mind, the Kabbalah, with those secrets discovered by yourself that are only known to yourself and or your higher self, whom some call God, see Elohim, forms the grip, sign, token and password that assure you that the lodge or temple is properly tiled. The number 9 is unchangeable, since by whatever number it is multiplied, the sum of the figures is always 9, for example, 9x487 equals 4383, thus 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 3 equals 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. Knowledge or 1, 1, the grand scale for this number is 111 meaning he is one God, see the story Alp as the lightning lighteneth out of the east even unto the west, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. Also meaning APL thick darkness, mad destruction by reason of illumination, and also PLA, the hidden wonder, a title of Kether. 
Now the Sephiroth are also called the world of emanations, or the Atsalithic world, or the archetypal world, Olam Atsalith, the first, and this world gave birth to three other worlds each containing a repetition of the Sephiroth, but in a descending scale of brightness. The second world is the Briatic world, Olam Habriya, the world of creation, also called Corsia, the throne. It is an immediate emanation from the world of Atsalith, whose ten Sephiroths are reflected herein, and are consequently more limited, though they are still of the purest nature, and without any admixture of matter. The third is the Jetziratic world, Olam Ha or world of formation and of angels, who proceeds from Briya, and though less refined in substance, is still without matter. It is in this angelic world that reside those intelligent and incorporeal beings who are wrapped in a luminous garment, and who assume a form when they appear unto man. NDA called angels Asiatics. The fourth is the Asiatic world, Alamha Asia, the world of action, called also the world of shells, Alamha Klafoth, which is this world of shells, Alamha Klafoth, which is this world of matter, made up of the grosser elements of the other three. In it is also the abode of the evil spirits, which are called the shells, the body is a shell, by the Kabbalah, Klafoth, material shells, or the world of matter, equality, also called the lower self or body. The Sephiroth are further divided into three pillars the right hand pillar of mercy, consisting of the second, fourth, and eighth emanations, the left hand pillar of judgment, consisting of the third, fifth, and seventh, and the middle pillar of mildness, consisting of the first, sixth, ninth, and tenth emanations. In their totality and unity the ten Sephiroth represent the archetypal man, Adam Kadman, the original man. In looking at the Sephiroth constitution the first man in the physical form, it is evident that they represent the intellect of man also more so than the physical man, hence this is called the intellectual world, Olam Mevs he call. The second corresponds to the moral world, Olam Morgash. The third represents understanding the stability, and is therefore called the material world, Olam Hamevatha. These three aspects are called the faces, Anpan. Thus is the tree of life, Jim, formed, the first triad being placed above, the second and third below, in such a manner that the three masculine Sephiroth are on the left, the three feminine on the right, whilst the four uniting Sephiroth occupy the center. This is the Kabbalistical tree of life, on which all things depend. There is considerable analogy between this and the tree Yggdrasil of the Scandinavians, see Thor Odin's son, there is one trinity which comprises all the Sephiroth, and that it consists of the crown slash king, knowledge, the queen slash wisdom, and understanding slash stars or knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which in their highest divine nature are symbolized by the first three Sephiroth, Kether, Chakma, and Bina. This is the trinity which created the world, or in Kabbalistical language, the universe was born from the union of the crowned king and queen and brought about the prince slash princess. But according to the Kabbalah, before the complete form of the heavenly man, the ten Sephiroths, was produced there were certain primordial worlds created, but these could not subsist, as the equilibrium of balance was not yet perfect, and they were convulsed by the unbalanced force and destroyed. These primordial worlds are called the kings of ancient times and the kings who reigned before the light in triple darkness. In this sense it was the world of unbalanced force, and this world we see now, universe, is the balanced Sephiroth. This important fact, that worlds, universes, were created and destroyed prior to the present creation, is again reiterated in the universal flag of the 5% cycle also called the Big Bang, but it happened more than once. The devils are also divided into ten classes, and have suitable habitations. The demons are the grossest and most deficient of all forms. Their ten degrees answer to the decade of the Sephiroth, but an inverse ratio, such as 360 degrees in the wrong direction making it negative 720 degrees, see the green books 1 through 10. The name of the deity, which we call Allah, is in Hebrew a name of the four letters, IHVH, and the true pronunciation of it is known to very few. But early Kabbalists, to conceal their knowledge from the profane, in illustrating the trees in the form of a diagram, gave it incorrectly, 
knowing the spiritually enlightened in the course of their initiation would discover the error. It would thus point to the truth without actually revealing it, which by their oath they were bound not to do. In all current works upon the Kabbalah, therefore, being copied from older works, we find emanation 2-4-7 constituting the tree of good, 3-5-8 the tree of evil, and 1-6-9-10 the tree of life, the Shekinah, or pillar of mildness. The correct diagram is given in Book I the culture is I God, also showing and proving that the man is on the left and his woman on the right, this is why in older traditions we keep the queen on our right or as the original man would call it on the inside, and now you see the light, where it will be seen that as it should be, the even or esoteric numbers are 2-4-8 and constitute the right hand pillar of the tree, and the exoteric numbers 3-5-7 constitute the left hand pillar of the tree. Also it will be seen that the necessary planetary correspondences to each of the emanations when arranged in the latter manner will place benefice planets on the tree to the right, and malefic planets on the tree to the left. Man himself is both father and mother being God he has both manifestations, in the genetic code we see it as XY, while the woman has two of the same sides up and down in earth and moon, and we see it as XX. The word Elohim translated in Genesis as God has the father-mother principle such as when man is said to have been created in the image of Elohim, male and female made he them. Elo is feminine plural and the ending im is a termination for the masculine singular, the two being used together to indicate a feminine potency united to a masculine idea. Throughout the Kabbalah the ancient teachings considered God, man because of his male and female genetic code in his seed while his woman was the embodiment of the feminine genetic code. This is why the lessons build on. We are not are not supposed to be what we are. Religious organizations, governments, universities, Northy or related entity reveals the real truth, or maybe most of them are also blindfolded. Take notes of all the codes and numbers related herein, do some additional researches and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching and being a part of this our great generation. Only one love can keeps us together and united as one.